Hi, welcome to this week's short tip. We're going to look at a solution I found to a compelling little problem that I ran into personally, and that was where I had many records of raw data, and each record had an ID followed by a date and a value, and the date and value were repeated between 1 and 20 times per record, depending upon how many times the charge hit for that specific record type. This was a bit of a problem, it's very denormalized data, and I did some research and came up with a solution using a very new widget called the Arrange widget. And so to show you this, I actually decided to step back a little bit and take a look at an existing piece of data just to show you how I can apply this widget to solve this problem. If you remember back to the Ultrix Intermediate Training class that I teach, we had generated this keyword value data set and it's where we had a patient ID with a value and then different attributes associated with that encounter also with a keyword equals to value spread out across a single record. This data set presented a little bit easier way of taking a look at what we're trying to accomplish and so let's look at some of the potential solutions for this problem. The first thing I thought about was my very handy, very effective text to columns tool because the text to columns tool, if you remember, has the ability to split the columns into rows. Well, this is great, but I wanted to go ahead and in one shot create a keyword and value records themselves and not have a record for each one and trying to put the keywords back to their values. Also took a quick look at the transpose tool, which is actually designed to take columns and move them into rows as well. It gives you a little bit better control over the processing and gives you a little bit more uh, fluid result set. But again, it is designed to take individual values and turn them into a separate row and not taking that pair together that I needed. Lo and behold, I found the Arrange tool that does exactly that. It allows me to identify equivalent pairs or multiple sets of data items within a record and turning that group of columns into individual rows. This is exactly what I wanted to do. My fear was that it was going to be a bit complicated and turned out that it was not complicated at all. So looking at my data set that we were using, want to do some tricks. We actually used the text to columns here to go ahead and break this data out and make it look exactly what we wanted to, which is I had an encounter ID and then I had multiple fields of data. And I want to turn each of these pairs of keyword and value, keyword and value into individual rows. To do that, jump into the arrange widget and you notice what I do here is I identify my key fields, which was the encounter ID. And then within that, what I did, and I'll show you very quickly, is I went ahead and added columns, gave the column a name, and then identified which columns from the existing record will go into that. And this can be random. You can choose any columns that you want from this record to go into a individual record. Canceling that, you can see what I did is I took fields 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11, which were the keywords, along with adding a second column to bring into it, which it'd be the attribute value, which was in fields 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Having run that, I come up with this data set, which you can see has the encounter and its attribute and its value. Very denormalized data, but it may be data that needs to be in a specific format for what you want to do with it, but it showed how I can then bring pairs of columns, and again, you can do this in more than just pairs of columns in the individual records. I also had some nulls and blanks in here. I went ahead and filtered those out using the attribute value is not empty in order to get a cleaner data set that then did not have those extra null records in them that I did not need. Hope this helped. It gets, gives you another way of manipulating that very poor data set that you might run into and to see how it will be cleaned up. But again, keep in mind that you clean the data one step at a time using the best widget to give you the quickest and easiest way of getting your solution. Hope this helps you in your journey.